Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Richart. Today we're going to look at what is a radian. This may be a new vocabulary word, so I really want to make sure that we have a good understanding of this. First, we're going to take a look at some simulations. First, we have a circle with radius 1. What we're going to do is we're going to take this radius and wrap it around the entire circumference of the circle. So we're going to take that blue radius and wrap it around. That is considered one radian. We're going to keep going. That angle is two radians. This is the central angle, and that is equivalent to the arc length of two radii. We have one, two, three arcs that are equal to three radii, and this is called an angle of three radian. RAD is the symbol and the notation for radian. Notice we still have a little bit left over. We don't have a full uh, a half circle yet. So if we continue, we have 3.15 radians. So this little bit extra, you may recognize the number 3.14, 3.15, and we'll get to that in a little bit. When we continue, we have four radians, which is the angle created from this initial side and to the terminal side, and it is created with four arc lengths that are equal to the length of the radius of the circle. five radians, six radians. We haven't completed a full rotation yet. So if we go to the furthest, we have about 6.28 radians. And so it takes six lengths of the radius and a little bit extra to wrap around the entire circle. We're going to take a look at another type of simulation. So we're going to make our circle with the length of radius r. Now we don't even know what that length is. We're going to take that r, that radius, and wrap it around the circle. That is considered one radian, and it doesn't matter what the length of the radius is. It could be one centimeter, it could be two inches, it could be three meters, it doesn't matter. We're going to take that and we have one radian plus one radian, we have two radians. We have a third radian, notice we're not halfway around the circle yet. We have three radians and 0 0.14, 3.14 radians. Hopefully that number rings a bell for you. Half of a circle represents pi radians. 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians because that's half a circle. Now if we continue to go around the circle, we have another half circle, which is another 180 degrees, which is pi radians. So together, pi plus pi, we have 2 pi. 1, 2, 3, and a little bit, 4, five, six, and a little bit. So we have 6.28 radians. The circumference is 6.28 radians, whatever that size of the radius is, 6.28 times the radius. The circumference, we say, is 2 pi r. So what that means is 360 degrees, one full rotation, is 6.28 radians. And that is equivalent to 2 pi radians. 2 times 3.14. To see this a little bit clearer, we have half of a circle, and this ruler is measured in radians. We're going to take that half circle and stretch out the circumference to get pi radians. We're going to do the same thing with the whole entire circle, stretching it all the way out to 2 pi radians.
coming back to our presentation, we're going to define a radian. A radian is a unit of measure for angles, and one radian is the measure of the central angle whose arc length is equal to the radius of the circle. Here's a picture. We have the radius, some measure, and we have the length of the arc that is the same radius, and this is the central angle, and that represents one radian. It's time for another simulation. So we have one radian, two radians, three radians, and a little bit, 3.1416 radians, which again we talked about is pi radians or 180 degrees. So in a half a circle, there are pi radians, which we talked about is the same as 180 degrees. If pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, then one radian is 180 degrees divided by pi. That comes out to be about 57.2958 degrees. So radians and degrees both measure angles. Just like centimeters and inches both measure lengths, it's the same idea. These are two different types of measurements for angles. How many radians are in a full circle? Well, imagine you cut pieces of string exactly the length of the radius of a circle. How many pieces do you need to go once around the circle? In our simulations, we saw that you need 6.283 pieces of string, or about 2 pi. And in our picture here, you could see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a little bit to complete that full rotation. We don't know how big the radius is, but it doesn't matter. If you increase the size of the radius or decrease the size of the radius, you still have six of that radii of that radius length around. So in summary, we have zero radians here. That's our initial side of the angle. Halfway around we know is pi radians or 3.14 radians. If you cut that in half, we have pi divided by 2, or 3.14 divided by 2, which is 1.57 radians. We know once around, we have 2 pi radians, or 6.28 radians. And then between 6.28 and 3.14 radians, we have 3 pi over 2, or 1 and 1 half pi radians, which is 4.71 radians. Now I encourage you to take quiz number one and to let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.